Sopinib um, from the German group was shown to be effective as maintenance for ovarian cancer patients. So there's this whole debate outside of bevacizumab, are there small molecule inhibitors uh, that work on an anti-angiogenic level that may also be effective? Are they effective after bevacizumab? Can they be used in combination with bevacizumab? Uh, that whole area is exploding. Um, and I think you'll see more, more, more of that to come. Um, the folate receptor is definitely a validated target in ovarian cancer. Uh, so EC145 is in a randomized phase three trial, registration trial, um, in patients with platinum resistant disease. Um, and I, uh, we're participating on that. It's definitely an active agent. There are a subsequent number of uh, small molecule inhibitors and antibodies that are targeting the folate receptor. Uh, so I think you'll see that come into play um, soon. And, and finally, you mentioned immunotherapy. One of the didactic sessions this afternoon um, is going to be presented by Rush Schilder. We left it open, new and novel therapies. He told me he, that whole lecture will be pretty much focused on immunotherapy, which I think is quite exciting. PD-1, uh, IPI, these are drugs that have been developed primarily in the immunologically um, recognized tumors. So you'll see them in melanoma. You'll see it in renal cell. Ovary has not been as well characterized and developed um, as those tumors. So we're not, we're not in the upfront trials, uh, but it's coming very quickly. I think in a, probably next year or two, you'll see um, PD-1 trials for sure. IPI is actually in trial on ovary, but it's very early, so we don't know. Um, so that's a whole new emerging field. We're a little bit behind some of the other tumors. Um, but what's attractive about it is it, it's an easy therapy to complement other biologic agents. 